Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so I got a quick video for all of you going over the spoilers for chapter 168 of Eden Zero. Now, like I said at the end of my review for chapter 167, this chapter is mostly going to be dealing with the aftermath of the war and all the deaths that happened during it, but we do have some big reveals coming up in this next chapter, so let's just jump right into it. Now, before I get into them, I do want to mention that all the spoilers I'm going to be going over in this video are courtesy of 11th Doctor over on Twitter. Go get him a follow if you want to keep up to date with all the spoilers for Eden Zero each week, and if you want to laugh because this character... This person is a total troll just like me and I enjoy seeing their troll tweets each week. Anyway, like I said, just go get them a follow if you want to keep up to date with all the current information and new information coming out about Ethan Zero. Anyway, getting into the spoilers for chapter 168, the title of the chapter is going to be Sea of Stars and a quick synopsis from Doc is that the battle is over but the losses are heavy for everyone. Grieving is proving to be more difficult for some. So, you know, we've already seen a little bit of this with the Eden Zero crew, with how badly they are dealing with the Witch's death. So I can only imagine what people like the Oasis group are doing, because they lost a good number of people during this fight. And then, of course, we have the IUA, who's going to be dealing with Jaguar's death. And then, of course, Justice. We all want to see how Justice reacts to Kree's death, and who to blame gets put on for that. And you know what, speaking of that, it looks like we're actually going to be getting some reveals when it comes to that situation in this next chapter, because according to this next summary tweet that I have from Doc, the OSI Prayer Council, the Eurasian Saints Center Stellar Prayer Council, which I don't think we've ever been officially informed about a prayer council. Maybe this is just kind of like the Eurasian Saints Center Stellar's come together to like pray for Jaguar. So I don't know, but it does say in this summary that Jaguar is confirmed dead, which I think we all kind of assumed at this point that he wasn't getting back up from what happened to him. Uh, anyway, we get three new OSG silhouettes. So three new silhouettes for Orishion Saints Galactica, so we're getting three new members introduced in this chapter, although we don't actually get to see their full on design just yet. Uh, EZ sent Kree's body back to Justice, so apparently the Eden Zero crew actually picked up Kree's body before they left Narrow 66. I don't remember seeing, I'll have to go back and check, but I don't remember seeing his body in that ship when Wise and Homer went to pick up Shiki and Rebecca, but I guess they dragged him with them. I mean, that was kind of nice of them to send his body back to Justice. Although, based on this next sentence, I think this is kind of just as seeing them as taunting him by doing this. Uh, because according to this next sentence, Jesse lies about who shot him. Which, we have another tweet. Let me go to that tweet real quick. We have another tweet about the summary for the chapter where it says, And I assume this quoted tweet is Jesse talking to Justice. But he says, It's Homura. Her name is Homura Kogetsu of the Eden Zero crew. Elsie's associate and the daughter of Koronai. She full Creed and killed him. So yeah, we have confirmation in this chapter that Jesse is definitely going to be blaming Creed's death on Homer, which we all kind of figured that he would. I was hoping, I was really hoping that Justice would actually see past his lies and realize that Jesse is actually the one who did it. But at least based on these spoilers, it looks like Justice is going to be fooled by Jesse. And, you know, it does make sense that he actually will be fooled because he already is kind of an idiot and he's one-track mind, very hot-headed. So since he already hated the... Eden Zero crew already, it makes sense that he'd be easily tricked by this. And then getting back to the previous tweet I was just going over, Oasis and EZ crew say farewell to lost friends by lighting up some lanterns in their name and filling the sky with it. So you know, this is going to be, I'm guessing, the ending of the chapter where you get to see them basically just going over this or doing this as a way to honor all their dead friends. You know, this is actually kind of a nice send off to all the characters that died during this last arc. And then the next tweet I'm seeing here from Doc is a picture of Justice crying. I assume this is right after he finds out that Kree died and what happened to him because he looks like he's crying, but he also looks angry at the same time. So this is probably him just finding out the news about what happened to Creed and how apparently Homer killed him. And I'm actually kind of now interested in how this plotline is going to develop because obviously at some point Creed, or not really Creed, Justice had to find out that Creed's killer was actually Jesse. At some point, this truth has to come out, so I'm wondering how he's going to react when it actually does get revealed. And what's going to end up happening before that, because obviously, going forward, he's going to have a major vendetta against Eden Zero crew and probably be personally hunting them down. So in the upcoming arcs, we're definitely going to be seeing them fighting off against each other a lot more. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing the rematch between him and Shiki, because Shiki's gotten a lot stronger since the last time they met. I mean, I still doubt that Shiki would win against him, but I'd like to see the rematch and how well Shiki does this time versus the last time. And then the final spoiler tweet that I'm going to be going over in this chapter is that we actually get the name for the silhouetted Oration States Galactica members who get introduced in the chapter. And their names are Giant of Eternal Darkness, Dead End Crow, which is a mouthful of a name. But I'm assuming that Giant of Eternal Darkness is a title. Uh, we have Archbishop 
seeing fire and ox okay kind of cool and then we have mother of dragons god Aknera, i think that's how you would pronounce that name god Aknera is a c n e r a and already i've seen a lot of people saying that this is going to be irene 2.0 for fairy tale which i'm all down for i loved irene's character i thought we didn't get to see enough of her and i'm glad that you know hero actually kind of brought her back in fairy tale 100 year quest a little bit as you know kind of like wendy's spirit guardian or whatever i actually do kind of dig that so you know if we're actually going to be getting a 2.0 version of her in eden zero i'm down for that now as of right now we just have silhouettes and names but we have no idea what their abilities are going to end up being but based on their names i think we can kind of guess what their abilities are like when it comes to dead end crow i can imagine that his ability is going to have something to do with darkness since his name or title is giant of eternal darkness so i'm kind of thinking maybe something along the lines of rogue from fairy tale or maybe blackbeard from one piece something along the lines of their kind of power level or their kind of power abilities uh, when it comes to the Archbishop, I honestly don't know. It could have something to do with holiness or have something to do with fire based on her name. And then obviously, Mother of Dragons, obviously her ability has to have something to do with dragons. And I'm kind of imagining something like Kaido from One Piece. Again, I'm drawing a comparison to One Piece. But yeah, each time I read her name, I'm kind of imagining something like Kaido's ability where she can maybe turn into a dragon and turn back into a human and have like a hybrid form between the two. And, but anyway, guys, that's it for the spoilers. Now, we have no word of them going back to Foresta to pick up Master Xenolith, which I'm hoping they end up doing, and I expect them to, because given what we're apparently going to be going up against in the future, you know, we got Justice coming after them in full force, and possibly the rest of the Eurasian States Interstellar, uh, we have definitely, they're going to be going up against at least one of these Eurasian States Galactica in the future. And the Eden Zero crew is definitely going to need some major power-ups that are going to contend against these characters, and the best way for them to do it is to train in the Master Xenolith again for a longer period of time than just seven days. So I'm looking forward to hopefully in chapter 169 them going back and picking him up. Anyway guys, that's all the spoilers I'm going to be going over in this video. Thanks for watching, I really do hope you enjoyed. Look forward to my review for Kaiju number 8 coming out tomorrow, this Sunday, because this chapter was definitely fire and I really need to talk about it. I know it's been a while since I talked about Kaiju number 8 on the channel, but I'm going to try to get back into it in full force. And also, like I said, go follow 11 Doctor on Twitter. They definitely are, one, they're funny as hell, and two, if you want to just keep up to date with the spoilers for each chapter, they're definitely a good resource to do that. Although I do want to say, because I've mentioned, or I've seen some people do this to them in the past, don't demand spoilers, don't demand things, you're not entitled to spoilers. Go there and hope that they actually post some, but if they don't, don't get upset by it. Just accept what they give us and then move on. But yeah, like I said, go follow them on Twitter. They're definitely a great, great source of comedy and spoilers for Eden Zero. But that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.